There are a lot of spooky stories that exist in this building. A lot of the crew who worked here early on preparing for the film have stories they can tell about ghosts and sounds and sensations that they felt. I knew that we needed a very good location because it takes place in this uh, mental institute and I knew the perfect place here in Brandon to do the movie. When I talked to the producers and Declan, I sent them in fact some photos of this location and uh, Declan loved it right away. Rajon Labrie, the production designer, he's a really smart guy. This building was built in the late 1800s. It was an insane asylum for many years until the 70s when it was closed. When I read the script, the first thing I thought about was this building. And I thought, we could make this movie. In fact, we could add to this movie. We could give the director something really to dig into if we shot it here. Off to a mental hospital! <laughs> Declan was so excited when he found this and when he got it. He was like, you guys are never going to believe what I found, an old, haunted, abandoned mental institution. And I'm like, great. The type of activities that they must have conducted within this facility, I think in and of itself, must have been quite horrific. All the rooms are still fully furnished from when this place closed down. All the shock therapy stuff, that's it the original look. stuff that was still in this building. They could make this place kind of out of a studio, but they've chosen to really come to a place like this that has all the mazes and the winding halls that you don't know where you are. Like, I've gotten lost a few times. It's freaky shooting in this location because it's got a history. It has been filled with people with mental problems. It's also very huge. It's an incredible big building. Lots of the reference from Declan was like something the size of the hotel in The Shining, and this location gave us that scale. The first week in here, I couldn't go around a corner without jumping or worried someone was going to be there and everything. It's just a freaky, dark, <laughs> scary place. One aspect we liked about this place wasn't had been renovated in the 1970s, and our script takes place at the start in 1974. So in that way, it was perfect. In the corridor, you still have the big bands of orange and brown and green. Of course, working with Mike Marshall, the DOP, we tried to give it a kind of a green tint to the movie. So lots of textures. Also, some of the rooms, we actually using some of the original hospital items. The museum here helped us with some of the pictures you see on the walls. Also, we created many files of the different patients through the years, taking um, photos of some of the characters in the movies. Oh, that is so wrong. We adapted some of the script to, to the locations. The killing that takes place in the auditorium, that was because of this location. I would find something neat around the corner, and I'd go back to my hotel room, and I'd change the script. I'd find the auditorium, I'd change the script. <laughs> Every room that we've shot in has just been perfect for the scenes. Did you see the attic? The attic is very creepy. When you're by yourself you know, on the fifth floor in the attic, it's uh, not the place I like to be by myself. You can get lost there. It was perfect for a layup with the place where our three main kids started accumulating their different uh, rusty items, plus also some clothes from their victims. Again, a very large space where you can do a lot. The location is sensational. I mean, talk about a uh, stimulus that enables you to get into a tone or a mood or a feel that is relevant to the film. I mean, this place is it. Somebody help me! The kitchen was big, abandoned with stainless steel. We had to fabricate a special table to put our character in for the fondue. This was perfect for the scripts. Working in an insane asylum, it helps add to some of that fear of the character. So for me personally, I'm like really freaking afraid and really running for my life at points during this movie. Some people have been saying it's haunted and it's creepy, but I actually, I really enjoy shooting here. It's just having this location automatically adds so much to the final product. When you're making a low budget film, you want to give your director as many opportunities as possible to build on his ideas, to expand them, to achieve them. And this building, with all of the things it offers, I think gave Declan that. And I was really pleased we could offer it to him. We're very proud of it and can't wait to see the final product. Yeah!